Hi, welcome to Ben African Cichlid. So today we're going to do a species profile and it's going to be about the whitetail ACI. So as you can see here, we probably have uh, maybe seven, seven to nine ACI and the stank, uh, that's our little breeding group. Um, there is actually quite a few female in here and then uh, I think there's two two to three males into this group here. So those fish are from Lake Malawi in Africa. Uh, they should be kept at a uh, temperature in between 76 and 80 degrees. Uh, they're beautiful dark coloration, almost dark, very, very dark purple blue uh, with the white fin on them. So now the female are gonna stay pretty much like a uh, coloration like that and don't really show any lines. Uh, male will sometimes flash their colors. Uh, this is him right now, our main male, when he's not really coloring up yet. But uh, you'll see if another fish get too close to him, then uh, all of his line are going to become very um, light blue. Now those fish, just like the yellowtail ACI, they get up to 8 inch in size. Uh, they're not aggressive for Anbuna, which, you know, not, when we say not aggressive for Anbuna, all Anbunas are aggressive, so they should be kept with other Anbunas or other fish that can hold their ground to them. But uh, yeah, for Anbuna, they're not too aggressive, just like the yellowtail ACI, but I would say that those whitetail ACI are a little bit more aggressive than the their uh, species with the yellowtail. So now they grow up to 8 inch like I said. Uh, at 2 inch they usually start breeding. A female will hold maybe uh, you know 5 to 10 eggs in her mouth. And then when they get closer to 6 inch, to in between 6 inch and 8 inch, you can have some time like 60 to 80 eggs at the time. Uh, those have been breeding in this tank, no problem. And actually a few times we try to catch a breeding female and then uh, they would spit out on the tank. So there's little babies of the white tail ACI hiding in here. There's a few of them. I don't know if I'll be able to find the other one. Uh, there's one usually here and to the wood that's hiding. Oh yeah, there he is somewhere. I think we just see the reflection in the glass. But um, so anyway, uh, if you have lots of uh, little crevice or something little hiding spot uh, that they can go under wood or under the uh, or under rocks or something then uh, you know sometime you can have some that survive and uh, actually this little guy here uh, was one that got that survived in this tank uh, was the only one that got spit out in the one batch one time and he was able to uh, hide into the decoration and under rocks and uh, now he's fitting in the group perfect nobody bothers him he doesn't bother anybody else oh look at this this male here is uh, trying to breed with this female. So now he's showing his beautiful bright blue stripe on him. Um, yeah, earlier I didn't finish talking about the lake, sorry. Uh, so uh, they're from Lake Malawi, so the pH of your tank should stay in between uh, around 8, 8.2. Uh, you wanna try to you know, keep the pH like this. This is where the, those kinds of fish are the most comfortable. Now, because those, that species is uh, not super aggressive, then we're able to keep them with trophies in this tank. Um, now, this is not something I recommend. Like, you cannot just put any kind of embuna uh, with trophies. Uh, usually, because What's happening is the mouth shape. So the trophy's mouth is more underneath the fish, while Ambuna's is more at front. 
So if you have ambunas that are too aggressive or, you know, sometimes even within a species, you might have one fish that's way more aggressive that usually the species is known for. Um, but anyway, because of the mouth shape, uh, usually the ambuna always gaining tea or most of the time will win a fight against Trophius because the Trophius actually have to go on an angle up like this in order to bite and be able to catch the other fish that they're fighting with. So fighting with other Anbuna is a fair fight, but fighting uh, fighting with other Trophius for them is a fair fight, but fighting with Anbuna is not that much of a fair fight. It would be like, you know, bringing a pocket knife to a sword fight, right? Both of them are sharp you can do damage with both of them but uh, the guy that have the sword is probably going to win most of the time so <clears throat> anyway um yeah so that that's kind of wrap it up for those kinds of uh, species here uh because uh, i guess one more thing i could add to this is uh, because those aci are not as aggressive and they usually like to hang out more as a as a group um, it's not as important to have a good male to female ratio as other Mbuna so most of Mbuna usually you're going to want to have about one male per five to six female and then uh, you know if there's another male in the tank usually uh, of the same species they're really going to go at it and try to get rid of that other male well uh, those aci are actually come enough that you can end up having a, a ratio of 50 50 for a male and female and they will do fine um you know this tank for example i think we just have two or three males in there and uh you know you don't see nobody with big damage in their fin or something now of course this male here will chase everybody in the tank and uh, this is because on the back of this rock here, he's digging a nest now. So he's, uh, he's trying to get all of the other male from that species to stay away from that spot. And uh, he's also trying to get the female to come and breed with him over there. So you'll see him once in a while. He'll uh, chase the other one. Now he'll probably start shaking because that's another female here. So he'll want to start shaking beside it um yeah so anyway this is what's happening here but as you can see he's chasing everybody but he's actually not taking any bites and uh, nobody's kind of fighting him back and uh usually yeah for that example of this tank here trophius stays out of their way and then they kind of stay out of the trophius way uh it's pretty peaceful in here well i know there's lots of chasing around but uh, for for an african cichlid tank it's pretty peaceful so anyway that's wrap it up for this video i will see you in the next video all right bye